each crew, each film, having its, each part of the film having its own crew was totally different. Something like maybe no one's ever done before actually. It was just like a really unique way of doing things. I'm Robert Camisa. I'm the director of part one. Key grip. Camera operator. Producer. Gaffer. The glorified PA. Sound mixing. This documentary. Co-writer and assistant director of part one. Best boy. And I am the art director. Director of photography. Camera three. I'm a horse wrangler. I am camera three operator. Director of photography. Six, producer. Camera three. Production manager. Line producer. Gaffer. Lighting. AD. Sound. Assistant director, Gaffer for part two, the director for part three. I'm sound mix. I'm boom. Director of photography. Script supervisor. The director of the fourth film. So having like four different parts with four different crews trying to, you know, mold with each other was a real like challenge. This is, you know, a student film, but it has been, uh, I hadn't even felt like I was dealing with students. I felt like I was dealing with professionals who've been in the industry for a long time, know what they want, and are going after it. On certain days, as a director, you fall at the, you stand at the top of the proverbial hierarchy of the film crew. And every person that is technically below you, they know their role. When people start to work together, um, you can really do a lot of great things. They really care about what they do. It's very rare to see people who care that much about what they do at this age, and especially in college. I'm amazed at how hard everyone is working to get this done and how diligent everyone's being. I know that it, you know, let's say directed by so-and-so and each piece has its own look because of this person, but um, it really could not have gotten done without every single of the 30 people that worked on it. The uh, tremendous uh, dedication that these young people have for their, for their craft uh, has been just inspiring. Well, most of the scenes we shot were under heavy pressure. You know, there were times where everybody's dreams seemed to be dashed for a little bit. There, there's been some bumps along the road in this production so far. It's been an interesting uh, three weeks. It hailed. We had a, a hailstorm. I don't even know why it hailed, but it's the middle of summer. I get here and get a phone call from yep. the guy we've cast as Jacob. Um, he actually ended up having a fracture on his skull. And we were like, we, we, we don't want you to die. So we ended up recasting him. This is the fourth attempt of filming the scene. We've been rained out, <laughs> thunderstormed out. The crew's been up here five times up and down the mountain. And if, uh, if we don't get this, they will not come up again. We would start filming <clears throat> part four. We would go to the Wild Horse Sanctuary. <clears throat> And it would be like this. And we'd wrap there and we'd look over and you could see back at in the Black Hills where we would go to film my film that night. And we could see thunderclouds rolling over and lightning right on top of where I was supposed to film. Uh, Rob uh, Culbertson, it was gonna, um, aka Cowboy, was gonna be our horse wrangler. Cowboy's jaw was broken. One of his horses kicked him in the jaw. He was in the hospital and his jaw is broken. So that first day we had these two things, we lost an actor and weren't sure if we were having a horse wrangler. So it was a little stressful for day one. Luckily, that worked out. Cowboy was able to come on set with a broken jaw, um, was able to figure out how to make it work and has been here amazingly for us. Have, having to do the number one film thing, which is troubleshooting. And we troubleshooted the whole time. And I think that was spectacular to watch all these people come together, had this one goal, and then complete it. It was a real film set. It was a real um, uh, collaboration of people coming together to, for one goal of making this film. And I thought that was absolutely stunning. 